I would say 80% of the people that come in at 12 o'clock when we first open come in to sign the book and to have a drink and to talk to their friends. And then they're gone. Yep. No food. We're not open right now. We haven't been open. Since March 16th. March. We tried to open. Four I, days. In we opened on a, at 12 o'clock on noon on Wednesday. At 3.30, Governor Wolf came over and said that you got to serve food. So we made up. We had volunteers that come in, and we made up menus of food that we made to serve so people could have a drink and socialize or, you know. And, uh, but one day we made $28. So in, in we, eight, we just... Eight hour, eight hour day. We made uh, $28. Another day we made a negative $34. Total for the four days that we, were, we attempted to reopen, we made less than $1,000, and that doesn't pay the utility bills and the payroll that comes with it. So, so the best thing was to shut down. Okay. We, realist, we realistically can stay open right now if we continue to be closed, probably for one more year. I mean, and that's using up any and everything that we have in savings accounts. In a normal week, we would bring in probably six to seven thousand uh, dollars through our canteen or through the bar uh, bar funds. We would bring in another five, six thousand dollars through ticket sales and the gaming sales that we have, and of course that would again would pay for our our donations going out to other clubs in the area. We did everything exactly to his specifications, and then to add the rule that you have to eat. That I just mean, kind I mean, of shut us right down. I mean, that, that seems so asinine. I'm not going to say I'm Democrat or Republican, but that really seemed asinine. You're, you're, you're telling people the only way you can drink is if you eat something. So if eating is going to keep away the, uh, the coronavirus, then I'm going to start eating now and I'm going to get fat and happy. But Other... Hopefully after Labor Day, we're going to try it again if, if he hasn't come up with some new idea. We might have to start a GoFundMe page for sure. <laughs> I wish I could say it on behalf of all VFWs that uh, don't forget your veterans out there. And but something else, these veterans don't forget us. You young veterans don't forget about us. We're here for you as much as you're there for us.